It was a bad day to work at the White House. Black Arrow's outer perimeter was there to prevent accidental witnesses. Then there was the inner cordon around the White House to make sure nobody bothered Reed while he did his dirty work. After all, the army was eventually going to get its ass in gear and start airlifting people into the city. Then there was going to be some explaining to do. Reed's solution was brilliant. If the cavalry showed up after he'd taken out the president, then Black Arrow was there to help secure the White House and our new president. If not, Black Arrow would be the scapegoat, and their resistance would buy enough time for him to finish the job. echelon people the colonel's been working with. The chick, what's her name? Bring <laughs> Locate the target and eliminate him.
explosive fuel in the middle of our defensive position. Where people may be shooting at us. Fucking stupid are you? Fight me. I had orders, okay? You got a problem, you take it up with the brass. Who gave you that horse shit order? Captain Crunch? One of the Christ! Right. We've got a hostile in the area! Find him! One of the third echelon people the colonel's been working with. The chick, what's her name? Clear. the hostile. 
one for an ass kicking. That's the wrong guy, shithead. I do not have a pop on a 67. Ah! through the front door. Negative. Reed locked it down. I'll have the garden door open for you instead. Got it. On my way. The area's compromised. There, go. We're gonna hold position here. I don't have a fix on the target. Boom. Don't 
Sometimes you just have to do things the hard way. Where's the president? Get to the West Wing! Get to the press room! We can hold them there! Is the president okay? Has anyone seen the president? Stay out of the green room! This isn't a guided tour! Move it! To the green room! Go! What was going on inside the White House made the stuff in the streets look like a party. Reed's people were in there, not Black Arrow. And they were clearing it room by room. Reed had disabled most of the security from Third Echelon. The EMP had taken care of the rest. All the President had left was Secret Service. And they weren't enough. Sam was in, trying to make his way through the White House while the people he'd trained tried to kill him. As for Grimm, well, she had the hard part. Should be part of the team bagging the primary objective. Fuck me! Fish! Sam, we have an opportunity here. Reed stashed Vice President Samson in the ballroom with personal bodyguards. He's waiting to be introduced as the next president. That's on my route to the West Wing. Pay him a visit, then meet me in the press room. We'll figure out how to tackle Reed there. Kills confirmed. No survivors. Do a sweep for strikers. No loose ends. Interesting. Our generation of Americans. I go to the picture of the target. Can anyone see him? To continue the unending search for justice within our own borders. There's no sign of him. He's got to be here somewhere. We believe that all men are created equal. What? Disturbance detected. I'm going to check. Oh, oh, you a lot better than that. Yes, Fuck. Yeah. Try like hot shot. I don't have a fix on the target. Oh, Fucking asshole. The target's still nearby. Let's find him. Fuckers, history. I got signs of hostile activity in the area. Oh, Down. Oh, so close right. by. Spread out and find him. I don't have a fix on the hot shot. Yes, again, find. asshole. I have asked for this radio and television. Do not have a fix on the target. Anybody got him? For the purpose of announcing that we today. <laughs> No sign of him yet. I'm gonna sit tight and see what happens. Right, we got a hot ah oh, shit. No sign of movement. Target may be KIA. I'll stay here and keep an eye out. Eyes and ears, people, in close by. No sign of the target. Say again. 
What the hell was Reed thinking? What happens to his special plan if I catch a stray bullet? Oh, 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 can't touch me. Can't you over me, you hear? Can't see the hostile. Take shit off my shoes. It was smart. You didn't run. Smart. You piece of shit. Oh. You don't get it, do you? You can't touch me. I got protection. I'm Teflon. So whatever you think you're gonna do to me, Mr. Has been. Oh, Mr. Rogue Agent. Mr. Washed Up Spy. We well, can forget about it right now, because I'm bulletproof. Goddamn bulletproof, you hear? Oh, really? No! Oh, oh, you shot me! Oh, you know, oh, you need to work on that old bulletproof thing. Bitch! Oh, oh, God, it hurts! Oh.
By the time Grimm got a hold of Sam, Reed's men were kicking in the Oval Office door. She was there, and she could see that the President's protective detail was going down. The plan was for Sam to meet with Grimm in the press room where they'd figure out what the hell to do next. Of course, Grimm already had a plan, one she hadn't bothered to tell Sam about. But that shouldn't have surprised him. Some things, and some people, just don't change. this position against a lot more than just one guy. It's a perfect bottleneck. One guy is all we need to worry about. When Fisher comes through here, he's gonna get hit by so many rounds, it's gonna turn him into soup. Well, that's a cheerful thought. Ain't it? But what if he bypasses it? Jesus! No visual on the contact! Take him out! I'll cover you! We've got to close on the target! Request...
Out of time, Sam. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. It's go time, motherfucker! I don't have a fix on the target. Whoa! Way! Who's got eyes on the contact? Where is he? No go! Can't see the target! Heads up! I'm laying smoke! Can't see the hostile! We're out of time, Sam. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. Reed's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now.
whatever it's worth, Sam, I am so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reed, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double-tap the President immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. <laughs> Tom? I've got Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Hands? You comfortable? Ah, fuck. Get up. You've got an appointment with the President. All those years, you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, for the same reasons. Guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. I was wondering when you were gonna get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he put up a little bit of a fight. Of course he did. And now he's here, the famous Sam Fisher, just in time to be useful. So how does it feel, Sam, knowing you're gonna go down in history as the man who assassinated President Caldwell? Fuck you, Reed. Of course, we'll be just a little too late to rescue her. And you'll be shot multiple times trying to escape. It's classic, but it's clean. You don't honestly believe that this is gonna work. The surveillance camera's footage is gonna show. Your cameras, we own them. Your security measures, we made sure the Pulse fried them. We're third echelon, Madam President. We own every bit of information that goes through this town. And if I want to, I can make it look like you were assassinated by two circus clowns and a golden retriever. So shut up, and you might live a few seconds longer. Huh, that's not third echelon. It's not Lambert's third echelon. Last time I checked, he was dead. And guess what? Third Echelon nearly died Tom. with him. You see, the president decided the agency wasn't justifying its funding anymore. She was gonna shut us down, leave America vulnerable to the sort of attacks you... Madam President, are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Son of a... Uh, that was a close You've got call. maybe two minutes before the army takes back the White House. Make them useful. How did Megiddo get to you? You don't want to know about Megiddo. You want to know about your daughter. You don't get to talk about my daughter. You still don't get it, do you? Sarah didn't matter. Threatening her was just a way to get to you. And leveraging you was a way to get to Third Echelon. And Third Echelon, that was a way to get what they wanted out of the White House. You're the mole. You're the one Lambert was worried about. Very good, Sam. You finally see. You son of a bitch! You cost me three years of my life. Three years when I thought my daughter was dead. Move! Move! Drop your weapon on the floor now! Captain, thank you for rescuing me. Now, I don't see anyone else here but us, and I'm sure you don't either. Oh, ma'am, let's get you out of here. Thank you. Oval Office is secure. We have the President. POTUS is safe and secure. Testify my trial. I could use a good character witness. You already had your trial. You didn't have to do that. I disagree. There was a time where you wouldn't have said that. Things change, Sam. Yeah, things change. Remember what you told me, Anna. When this was over, everybody walks. I'm walking. 
You can't. There's too much left to do. Ask Lambert. I've done too much already. Sam, please. I don't know who else I can trust. Trust? Funny you should say that. Goodbye, Grim. I've talked to Sam once since he left. He told me that he and Sarah were gonna take some time to catch up. He talked about learning who was really important to you. Why you always had to come back for him. He talked about family. And you know what the last thing he said to me was just before he hung up? Vicky said, Thanks for everything. I love you like a brother. Brother. That's family, right? Yeah. I thought so.